Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to give you a brief tutorial on Opti system. Using Opti system, you can design your own optical communication system. This video is being divided into two portions. In the first portion, I try to give you a brief overview of various things associated with your Opti system software. And in the next video, part two of this video, I will be showing you how you are actually going to simulate the system on Opti system. So let's start. So what I'm going to cover in this video. So in the first few moments, I will be discussing about Opti system software. And right now I'm having access to license of 14 version. And you can try a 20 version, student version. That is for one month. And after that, you have to obtain the licensed version. So the first thing uh, after introduction to software, I'm going to show you uh, how you are going to design the transmitter section of your communication system. After that, the channel, and obviously, your channel is optical fiber over here. Then receiver design. And once you have done this, you will be simulating the things. And then last but not the least, uh, you are going to get the results. So what Opti system software is all about? So you can see Opti system software is an innovative, rapidly evolving and powerful software design tool that enables us to plan, test and simulate almost every type of optical link in the transmission layer of a broad spectrum of optical networks from local linear network, SAN, MAN to ultra long haul. It offers transmission layer, optical communication system design and planning from component to system level and visually presents analysis and scenarios. It provides global insight into system performance, assess parameter sensitivities, aiding design tolerance and specifications, uh, visually presents design options and scenarios to prospective customers. It delivers straightforward access to extensive sets of system characterization data. It provides automatic parameter sweep and optimization. It integrates with the family of OptiWave products. Applications OptiWave system enables users to plan, test and simulate in both the time and frequency domain. Optical network designs, including OTDM, Sonnet, SDH rings, CWDM, DWDM, PON, Cable and OCDMA. Single mode, multi-mode transmission and free space optics, radio over fiber, OFDM system, amplifiers and lasers, signal processing, electrical, digital and all optical things are available in this. So before we proceed ahead, the basic things required for learning this software is that we have to work on optical system. So we should have pre-request knowledge of optical fiber communications. So transmitter and receiver subsystem design. And we should be aware of modulation formats. Uh, you are using return to zeros, NRZ, CSRZ, DPSK, QPSK, and there are plenty of other techniques. So you should be aware of all those formats. So being a student of sixth or seventh semester, you are already aware of these particular topics in your various subjects all throughout your graduation period. Right now, I am using them directly for simulations. Okay, so first thing, first, you are supposed to install 
the opti system license version or student version uh, on your machine then you are supposed to read basics of optical fiber systems you should have basic knowledge of transmitter and receiver design you should be aware of these terms bit error rate quality factor and all other related parameters so let's go so the first thing is before you start let's have a design problem so this is a design you are going to make a optical fiber link for length 50 km so data rate you can use either 5 gbps or 10 gbps then bit error rate should be less than 10 raised to power 9 and 9 then quality factor should be at least 25 on the higher side it is advisable but on the lower side you should optimize it so what is a q factor so q factor is measure of the quality of a digital signal system in an optical communication system it is function of the bit error rate signal power and noise power the higher the q factor value the better the quality of the signal definition and calculation of q factor so q factor is calculated as the ratio of the distance between the average signal levels of two adjacent symbols to the standard deviation of the noise the formula for calculating q factor is as follows so q factor is equal to signal level 1 minus signal level 2 over noise rms so it is a very useful qual quantity as far as uh, your any system design is being concerned so let's start so when you install the software and it is working fine then your window should open like this so here you can see uh, their component library so you can open a new file and in new file you can uh, get into the various component libraries which you are going to use so i am going to tell one by one so in this video i am just giving you the screenshots uh, in the video number 2 i am giving the live demo of this particular software so transmitter so for a transmitter you need certain components so the components i am using because it's a basic tutorial so i'm not going into the very complex things so here you can see the first thing you are going to get is uses pseudo random bit sequence generator you can use other one also but i am preferring this then second is pulse generator so i am using nrz uh, non return to zero and uh, you can use other also depending upon the knowledge of your domain then uh, we i am using oscilloscope at various stages to check which signal actually i am using then on the receiver side one more thing is important that is mz modulator and why it is needed because we are working at a very high rate so it is needed for synchronization when the data rate is very very high then you have a signal uh you got the modulator then a carrier is needed so carrier is continuous wave laser and the wavelength i am using is 1550 nanometer and it's 130 93.1 terahertz it is its bandwidth so if you want to change the property just double click on the component and you can check the property of that particular component then you can select the optical fiber of the desired type so that you can create the channel so uh when i am using the window third window 1550 nanometer so i will be using lambda is equal to 1550 nanometer for this optical fiber and attenuation is the practical one that is 0.2 db per kilometer so all the components can be picked from the related libraries so once you did this you are well aware of your transmitter so one thing i forget to mention is uh, that you should be aware of this particular thing that where you are actually having your electrical signal and where you are having your optical signal you are not going to mix them or uh, connect in a other order uh, later on i am going to tell you the color code of 
uh, whether you are this is using a reference signal electrical or optical signal so once uh, you have designed your transmitter it looks like this in your software here you can see this is pseudo random bit sequence generator this is nrz pulse generator this is continuous wave laser and this is mz modulator so here you can find out the difference uh, this is your red color this is blue color this is green color and this is green color so from here it is obvious that these are optical signals green color ones blue are electrical signals and red one is reference signals so let's move ahead now coming towards your receiver section uh, once you transmitted the signal through your optical fiber then it is to be received in the receiver section so at the receiver section i am using the pin diode but you can use any other diode as far as your knowledge is being concerned then the second thing uh, at the output side at the receiver side which is very important is low pass bessels filter then i am telling you color line for reference once again so red is reference signal blue is electrical signal whenever you are going to connect making connection uh, between two components then if the color is blue that means it is electrical signal and if color is green it means it is an optical signal so everything you have done but i want you people to use visualizers so that you can uh, get the idea what signal you are actually transmitting so when you are using visualizer uh, you should make it sure that you are using red color signal or blue color signal or green signal signal exactly not intermixing them so by default when you are connecting them it will take its own connections so i suggest you to delete them and make it with your own connections so this is uh, your receiver how it looks like this uh, this is your pin diode so here you are actually receiving the signal here you can see here you actually receiving the optical signal then low pass filter is there so here you can get a bit error rate analyzer so here you can see this is your electrical signal this is your electrical signal and here you are actually using reference signal so combining your transmitter receiver and channel your system is ready for simulation so you can simulate using simulation button that is given on the top of the window and you can measure the parameters like quality factor bit error rate and i diagram you can also measure the rf parameter using rf spectrum analysis so uh, you can play with the various things uh, that you can make changes for power distance and data rate and you can observe that how these things are actually uh, changing the behavior at the receiver so watch the next video for simulation so this is your the complete setup so here uh, you can see this is this portion is your actually transmitter and uh, this is your uh, channel optical length 50 km uh, this is your receiver basically pin diode photo diode and then low pass filter and this is your vr analyzer so it's quite simple uh, but uh, you can learn a lot by making this simple thing uh, on to your system so once you're fine with this then you click on the simulation button on the top of the window and then you can click on this you will simulate so once you simulate you will get a window like this so here you can get the results for quality factor vr rate threshold height of the window vr pattern and you can also have idea about i diagram in this particular result so this is your i diagram uh, the details will be discussed in the later videos that how to analyze this how what is i opening what is i closing so that we are going to discuss in the coming videos so that's all for this video so please uh, watch the part number 2 for further analysis so thank you very much